negative attitude towards you change how you show them love. I believe that it's one of the best ways to stay blessed when we go above and beyond to love on people even when it may be a little difficult. I know it could be hard sometimes to show somebody love who's always throwing shade at you, who's always kind of being negative towards you and you can feel it. You're not crazy. Truth of the matter is there are always going to be people in your life who are going to hate you for no valid reason other than the fact that you're just really good. You're an amazing person. Everybody cannot handle your greatness. Everybody will not celebrate the blessings of the Lord in your life. So you've got to kind of be prepared for it. Don't expect everybody to love you. Whether it's a friend, they may change. An ex, a family member, co-worker, in-laws, church members, your neighbors. You know, sometimes somebody that you don't even know will hate you because of what somebody else said about you. And that just doesn't make any sense. But it is your responsibility as a child of God to continue to show love. Sometimes I'm in situations and I know, I know that it's an attack of the enemy coming from an individual that just wants to pull me off track and get me distracted with some negativity. I start speaking to myself. I say, Marcus, love, 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 love. Go above and beyond and love. This is how you're going to stay blessed. Truth be told, if they don't change and get right, they're going to miss what God has for them. Don't you miss your blessing because you go down to their level and start competing with their negativity. Honor and thank God for the loving heart and the kind personality that he's given you. Use your positive energy to change the atmosphere. I love you guys and thanks for watching. If you've been blessed by this message, I want you to share it and invite somebody to hear this word.